Okay, in today's video, it's going to be a little bit different, a different style video. If you don't know, I have a vlog channel called Just Anne's World. I'll link it. I always link it in the description box, but I'll also link it in a pinned comment. And this is what I usually do. I vlog, I walk. Um, sometimes I'll take you guys to the grocery store. We go, we go shopping, we go to Walmart. I get real personal on this channel or on my blog channel. That airplane, how rude, I'm trying to talk. And anyway, anywho, on that channel, sometimes I come here to the lake and this lake here is uh, just something that reminds me of my mother. Um, we used to come here a lot when my kids were little. This used to be open. You were allowed to go swimming and everything else. But I don't know, maybe about 15 years ago or so, they closed it down. Um, so you can't go swimming. And there's usually nobody here. And I come here. This is my peace. And I actually feel closest here to my mother than I do at my house. Because, um, you know, that was my mother's house, my childhood home. And, um, you know, after she passed, you know, she left it to me. But this is where I feel her more if that even makes sense and so today's topic may is mental health awareness month and this is going to be more of a i think this is more important what is the right word i'm looking for i have my water bottle here let me put it down here more of a serious topic and whenever I do stuff like this I always see, I come to the lake so I can pace and I, I don't know but let me show you what the lake looks like because I don't think I, on this channel I've ever showed you guys and there we go isn't that just absolutely gorgeous see there's a sign right here that says no swimming let me get close the sun is in my eyes so I don't know what you can see until I get done editing but I used to take a little chair like right here, put my little feet into my ankles and then watch the kids play. It's very pretty and uh, I'm very lucky that where I live has places like this that a lot of people don't come to. So it's like very peaceful, you know? So I walked up here. It took me 40 minutes one way <laughs> that I walked up here. I was gonna bring Nala with me, but she's having issues with her shoulder. So I just walked up here by myself. But I'm using my new tripod, if you don't know. Um, my other one I lost, I don't know. So I got the new one in. This is a seven foot one. And then, so we're gonna test it out. And then where I have you guys uh, plugged at, plugged at, on the phone with, has like lights. I didn't even know that, that uh, it featured this when I got it. So we'll have to test it out at night. Anyway. So this is what I usually do to give you a little vision or whatever the right word is of what my vlog channel is when I just, you know, talk. Nature is so pretty. So I discussed this a little bit on my vlog channel, but I, I think it's so important why I wanted to bring it on this channel as well and talk about it. I don't get too personal on this channel. I basically keep it just like unboxing and more like professional if you want to say that, because we all know I am not professional. The bird is trying to out talk me. And, um, probably has his babies there and sees me, you know, like, stay away. So for months now, you guys, uh, most of you guys noticed that I haven't really been filming on this channel or the vlog channel. So this is weird. When I came up here, I put my bottle down, my water bottle down on this bench and all I did is just walk from over here, here, and it's not here. There's nobody here at the park. It's literally not here. I looked, it didn't roll down anywhere, like to go into the thing. Oh, that is so weird. How pretty is this scenery? <laughs> that is gorgeous, isn't it? I cannot believe my water, my water bottle is gone. I don't even know where to get started uh, because I don't really get too personal on this channel and I don't want to feel like I'm repeating myself all the time, but I'm just going to start from the beginning. I've been doing YouTube on this channel for eight years now and I've always been like an unboxing channel. I started this channel in 2017. Well, then in uh, September of 2018, that's when the house fire happened. 
uh, you know, February of 2019, uh, my grandmother passed. Then my daughter had open heart and lung surgery in October of the year. And then that year, a month later, uh, on Thanksgiving Day, my mother passed. So 2018, I mean, that was terrible. 2019 was terrible. 2020, COVID was starting to come. <laughs> make its mark I think I think in March of 2020 is when I think the schools start closing down I want to say in Jersey um, and my coping skills was not good if you guys been with me for a while you know my coping skills were not good uh, my marriage wasn't doing good we separated and then probably about a year, in October of 2021, I moved into my mother's house. I just couldn't, she left the house to me, but it was just too many memories. Um, um, that's where my mother passed at, and I, I just couldn't grief, and I, I don't cope well. Um, at that time when I moved into my mother's house, my husband at the time, he was living with a whole new family. It was a mess, I've ne and at that time, I didn't share any of this. Um, with you guys you know I would still do in my unboxings and act like everything was okay except for I was very negative if you go back and you see my thumbnails and everything else like that every I was just negative very negative um, any comments that would say you're negative I took offense to it because I wasn't handling things uh, I was you know like well I play the small violin well my I'm grieving and all this kind of stuff and I'm thinking and my husband's with another family like doing all this when I should have just took time away now having said that I was diagnosed with bipolar I've no, I've always suffered from depression anxiety and everything else and I wasn't medicated so I because I thought I can handle it you know uh, <laughs> I did not. I've lost. I lost some friends uh, over that in that time of peri period, and it even went public, and which was embarrassing. Um, and so that happened. And then I had this. Um, somebody lied and said I called CPS on a, on a friend, and which was not true. And then uh, I had people mad at me, thinking it was true. The, the internet and everything else, which was not true. Um, and I never really coped with that either, like I should. And I was still filming. Um, and how I coped, I, when I started my second channel, my vlog channel, um, I had just had a heart attack um, in 2022. The uh, end of March and then April 1st, April Fool's Day, I had a stamp put in. And so I started my second channel and how I thought I was coping with it was by talking. I always say on that channel, it's like my therapy. Not that I think anybody's my therapist, but just talking about it helped me. At least I thought, right? Me and my husband, we get back together. We tried marriage counseling, all of that. It, it just didn't work because I thought, well, maybe it was me because I was grieving so bad with my mother and grandmother. Um, and I know friends didn't want to be around me. You know, they thought I was toxic or what have you. I, I still say I was dealing with real life stuff, but I didn't real, you know, sometimes when you're going through, you don't realize how you are, you know? Oh, there's some more geese coming and so I thought okay well maybe I was just mean to him maybe it was maybe it's a me thing so let's try to make things work and I forgave him for the adultery and stuff and then he moved in with me at my mom's house and that <laughs> with my oldest son uh, because my husband didn't like to pay bills and didn't want to help and thought me and the kids should be paying for everything and it was a mess um, that just did not work out too good. I wanted him to file for divorce so he would pay for it because he didn't pay for anything else. So he could pay the $350 or however much it is for filing fees. And between that, my son, I'm going to start walking because here goes my anxiety. And one of the incidents, so my son and my husband got into like an altercation. Now me and my husband, the divorce, he never put his hands on me. Towards the end, he threatened me, you know, balling his fist up saying, you know, it's you like a bitch on the street, you know, but he never like came close to me. Like I didn't have fear of him, but he liked to antagonize, okay? Now this is after my heart attack. He would like uh, just mess with me and keep fucking with me, you know, and wanting to argue and, uh, just a lot of things and so I would when my kids were at work you know my kids are adults I would go in their room because there was a lock my room is up in the attic you know and so there is no lock on there I mean I know I could have got a lock and all that but um, at that time I didn't have a car either 
And so I couldn't just get out of the house. I am so dumb. Look, here's my water bottle. It was on this bench. <laughs> oh, look at the little geese. Look. Oh, and there's the other ones. I know I wasn't going crazy. You know, I was just going in their room because I knew like when my oldest son was home, if I had the door locked, my, my husband wouldn't uh, like knock, keep knocking on the door and all that kind of stuff, you know? I don't know, just, it was, it's just, I was going through a lot and I'm still filming, okay? Through all of this, I'm acting like everything's okay. Now, I never cope with the death of my mother and other things. I never dealt with the anger that I had <coughs> with family members and stuff with my mom and the house fire because people are very greedy when it comes to money, right? And just a lot of things I didn't cope with very well. And then, like I said, the altercation that happened last year, I mean, there were restraining orders. It was, he could have put my son in prison for 10 years. I mean, it was just over a lot, a lot okay? So this was going on. And then I had start having some YouTube drama of this man, okay? And he starts saying because I was talking about my divorce and different things and you know I was very angry and I never explained on my vlog channel exactly what happened between my husband and my son but I was still very angry so I talked about divorce I talked about how my ex-husband didn't pay bills and all this other kind of stuff because and I was still so angry <laughs> and then after everything was over because it just finalized um, my son's case got dismissed what last month or so so like um then I finally came clean, told what, what had happened, and you guys understood more. But all this I'm dealing with, boom, 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 boom. Now I'm dealing with somebody online threatening, you know, saying that they're going to look up my divorce and uh, all because of a video I did two years prior on him because I think he's a gross pig, and I still feel that way. This man doxed my daughter, uh, you know, gave her full legal name, just everything. And because I wasn't coping with everything I was going with from like four years ago I never dealt with it how I should have you know I reacted which I should have never did I I said this in my blog video when I was talking about my mental health like I added to it because I should have ignored it right and a lot of you guys told me like just ignore it but in my mind it was like I didn't protect my son because I brought this man into our lives and if I never brought this man into my life or never took him back after he lived with another family this would have never happened so I felt like I had to protect my daughter I always said I, I don't care what anybody does you could talk about me you can make videos on me I'll never go to YouTube I'll never do anything unless you dox me or my kids and when that happened, I had to stand by my word, you know? Now, because of everything that happened, I, I, again, ended up in the hospital, which was my fault, because like I said, I just wasn't dealing with everything properly. Because when I had to go to court for this, um, as I put a restraining order on him, um, and when I had to go to court, I knew my son's court case was coming up. And that was very stressful to me. Anyway, because I have heart issues and different things and I'm diabetic, it just, my health, I landed back up in the hospital. And that's when I realized like, man, what are you doing? Basically what the doctors told me, it was a stress related thing. I found out more things like I have lack of blood flow and different things in my heart and all that due to the, like the heart attack and having high blood pressure and not taking care of it and all that kind of stuff. But I kind of like had a breakdown. If, if you want to say, uh, and stress can kill. And I had to say, uh-uh, this is too much. This is when you don't take care of your mental health or protect your peace. Like I got to make a change because I don't want to have another heart attack or a stroke. My blood pressure was getting high. It was just like one thing after another because I didn't take care of my mental health. So what I had to do was step away. I had to step away from YouTube. Now here's the thing. Then I complain because this is my main source of income. It's like, okay, so now I'm not filming. So now I'm not making the money. So then I stress over that. Now, thank goodness I have children. My kids are adults and they do help me and stuff because 
thank God for them, you know. Um, it, it was just like a vicious cycle. It's like, I know I, I can't film because when I do film, I learn my lesson. I can get very negative or I keep repeating myself or I'll, I'll make vlogs and I'll keep talking about the same thing every vlog. <laughs> You know, because like I said, I just don't know how to cope with things too well. So the way that I was coping with things, I kind of like just shut down. I didn't do this intentionally, but I didn't talk to my friends. I didn't want to talk about it because every time I talked about it, I anything, I started crying or I was complaining or I was very angry or offensive and it wasn't anybody's fault you know or you know if my friends were like oh we're going on vacation i'm just making something up or my husband got me this well when you're going through a divorce you don't want to hear that and it's not their fault they should be happy and i am so happy my friends have really good husbands but it, for me I, I i i you know it was just too much for me because it was a me thing because i wasn't coping i wasn't handling what i was going through i wasn't taking care of my mental health and so I started reading back in my Bible all the time because I, 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 I kind of like went away from that. I still watch my church and everything else like that because there's not a church around me that I go to that I really like. I need to find one because I, I really do enjoy fellowshipping, you know, with other people. But I really got into my Bible and gospel music. I got back like my sleeping schedule. I, I start when I go in my room between 11 and 1130, I, I didn't talk on the phone. Um, I had to like shut down completely. I prayed a lot. I started taking care of my health. You know, I've lost some weight and stuff. Just mentally, I had to take care of myself because I don't know what could have happened to me if I didn't. This last time that I was in the hospital scared me worse than when I had my heart attack. Every time I got up, I felt like I was gonna pass out. It was terrible. I couldn't breathe all from stress related. Also, I do have, you know, heart issues, but stress. That's why they say stress can kill. It was raising my blood pressure. My blood pressure, when they put me in the hospital, was 240 over 121 or something like that. That is dangerous stroke level, right? You know, I always say, like, I have friends, you know, they live out of state and everything, great friends that I can call them up three o'clock in the morning, you know, if something was going on. I know that. But I didn't really have any in-person friends or family. Like, even after my mom and stuff died, nobody came to my house. So, because I felt at the time I had to be strong. I didn't want my kids, you know, I, I, being upset because I'm trying to help them out. I stayed in my room all the time. And I would just cry. If I didn't feel good, I stayed in my room. I didn't want them seeing me like that. Uh, and then for me, somebody that suffers from depression, that just put me even worse, you know, like in a depression. I am the type of person I need to get out and I'm a people person. And not that it's anybody's um, job to do that. I'm just saying I didn't have that. So I, I just got used to just being in my room all day long, crying, making my videos, but being a good actress, act like I was happy. As soon as the video was over, I take my makeup off or whatever, take my clothes off, get back in my pajamas and go back in my bed. That's the truth. I wouldn't reply to comments. I didn't because I sat there and cried. I didn't want to have anything to do with YouTube. It was just, it was bad. And I did not know I was that bad. I didn't know. All right, I had to sit down for a little bit. I want to know where I was at. Um... So guys, we, we, we have to take care of our mental health, you know? And that's what I had to do. I had to just get away from YouTube. I'm trying not to get emotional here. You know, I have a, a family member that suffers from a really bad mental illness. And you know, he doesn't realize it, how bad he was. And you know, I used to tell my friends, well, you know, when you're, it, it, when it's you, you don't realize how bad you are. Everybody else does, but you don't know because that's what mental illness is. You think you're fine, but I didn't realize that's what, what that's what was happening to me.
I wasn't dealing with my mental illness. Like some people that suffer from depression, I'm the type when I, when I start getting depressed, I want to shut down. I don't want to talk to anybody. I just want to watch my TV shows. I don't want people to say, what's wrong? How are you? And it's like still the same. I'm still depressed laying in the bed. You know, unless you're coming over here to cheer me up or just watch TV with me and not speak to me, just be there with me, then I don't want to talk, you know? I just start walking again. See this anxiety. You should see me at home, especially if I'm on the phone, I pace, you know? Or even when I'm not on the phone, I just start pacing. You know, that's what I was talking about. Like with depression, some people, they want to talk because they, it makes them feel better. For me, when I want to talk is when I would pull out my camera and I would start vlogging and then just talking. That's how I handle things, but everybody handles it differently. You know, I, I had to learn, like, you know, let people know, look, I'm going through things right now. You know, I, I'm okay. But like I said, when I got this bad, it, it was terrible. Guys, I even had, I, 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 didn't, I can't believe I'm telling you guys this, but I had thoughts I didn't even want to be here. I would not do anything to myself because I had children. But I had those thoughts and I didn't have those thoughts before. Even when my mom and them passed, this was the first time I'm, I start having thoughts again of, and I didn't have this from years and years ago, of why even be here? Why? Nobody's loved me. Nobody cares about me. I'm not saying that's true. This is how mental illness works. I, I never had a man that loved me. Nobody wants to be my friend. You know, this is, this, this is how I'm thinking. Um... Nobody watches my videos. <laughs> why, why, Ann? Because you're not posting anything and you're out of the algorithm. That's your fault. But when you're going through it, it's all me, 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 me. But I don't practice what I preach because I'm quick to say, well, do something about it. Stop whining about it. Stop complaining. It's kind of like the people that want to lose weight. Well, stop complaining about it. Yes, watch what you eat, but you got to go and exercise and walk and do things, you know? Uh, take care of your health, but hello, I wasn't doing that, you know? I, I can admit to that. I do not practice what I preach. Because I kept thinking I can deal with everything. Well, I'm learning I can't. I don't want to go to counseling because, you know, I was raised... You know, you, you keep everything at home you don't share things now when my mom and them had uh, first passed I did see a counselor but only for a couple months so I'm like oh I don't need to speak to anybody it's the same old thing <laughs> again mental illness right you think you don't need anybody I didn't need any medication I mean even now because I have depression there are days like today I feel fine but I can wake up tomorrow and not want to film, not want to do anything. I said on my vlog channel so many times, oh, I'm going to go to AC. I'm going to do this. We're going to do that. Because when I'm filming, I feel fine. And I'm not lying. I mean it. But then here comes my depression. And it could be nothing wrong. I don't know why I wake up like this. Why? Because I'm not medicated. <laughs> not saying you have to be medicated. But somebody like me that suffers the way that I suffer, I need to be medicated. You know. Now, I also want to talk about... I gotta sit down again. All right, I, I'm literally sitting on the floor here. I don't even care. Now, I also want to talk about like YouTube and YouTube drama and stuff. My friend Shelly, um, I'll leave her channel down below. She actually just did a video of like her mental health and why she hasn't been filming and just. Bull, the, being bullied online and that's a real thing and you know it's easy like if you're not if you don't do YouTube or or even if you do YouTube it's easy to say okay well don't watch it but sometimes it's kind of hard especially when you're being tagged and I, I can speak for myself a year ago I would have been like nobody's ever gonna make me that mad what I just won't watch well it happened to me <laughs> You know, so I understand now and you know, I'll never judge again. And it's sad how people, it's like misery loves company. I don't understand how somebody can just stay online all day and all they do is beef stream and make fun of people. 
You have to have a pretty fucked up life, excuse my language, but an effed up life. Like you have to, only miserable people do that. So I know I'm all over the place because nothing's scripted or anything like that. I never script my videos like when I'm vlogging or when I want to talk about things. It just comes from the heart. So I could be all over the place and maybe not even making sense. And in my mind, it's like, okay, and don't keep repeating things because you talk about this on your vlog channel. <laughs> but then I'm like, but I don't talk about it on this channel. What if it's people that don't watch my vlog channel? So it's like, then I share the whole story from the beginning. It's just that, like I said, I don't know. Um, am I 100%? No, but I'm working on myself and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with coming on camera and say, guys, I'm struggling. And that's what I, I was embarrassed to do, to just say, I'm struggling. I need help. There's nothing wrong with that. And I'm still struggling. I'm still struggling. I'm doing a lot better, but I'm still struggling. It was so hard for me to get the past the fact, like just this divorce, like I failed. I didn't want to be with a man that didn't want to help pay bills and all this other kind of stuff, but I'm mad at myself staying with somebody for 12 years, not paying bills. I'm like, am I that desperate? My kids were young. Like, was I that desperate to stay with somebody the way that they treated me? Because I, especially after my mom and them died, I felt like I'd rather have somebody around, even if he wasn't home or if he was home, he was in the dining room or upstairs or didn't want to watch TV with me or if he was cheating on me or what have you. It was like, at least somebody was there. Because I don't talk to my kids like they're my friends. We're friendly, but I don't get, I'm not friends with them. You know, so we don't talk about personal things and stuff. And so I felt like, well, at least he's there. I, 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 I mean, now that I think of it, it's like, oh my God, ew. But that's how I was thinking. And I thought, what happened to you, Anne? Your self-esteem, your self-confidence, what happened? So I was very mad at myself. What am I teaching my children, my daughter? And even though I say that, I am happier now being divorced and not being with him. And I see a lot more now, you know, but it's still hurtful to feel like you're not loved. It's like, why? What did I do wrong? Like, what, what? I'm, a, I'm, I, I'm a happy person. I like to be out. I like to do things. I'm very friendly. Like, what, what, what? Well, I had to realize, well, he just used me. When he met me, I was living in the projects with my kids. Isaiah was only like five or six. He's going to be 20 in July. Like, Alexi was 10 or 11. Tyler was either 15 or 16. Like, he used me. He moved in with me in the projects. We were only dating for like a month or two. I didn't ask him to move in. He just slowly started moving in. But I wasn't in a relationship for five years prior since I was with Isaiah's father, you know, that it was like nice to have somebody. And I thought, oh, well, you know, he had goals and he was doing things and maybe he could help me get out of the projects and all this other type of stuff, you know? So, I, you know, realizing that is hurtful. So even though I knew the divorce had to happen, it still hurt me. And then my good friends know like what happened as far as the divorce and stuff. It, I was mad about that, like how it happened. And I'm mad at myself. I, and it's like, I, I, I can't forgive myself. Does that make sense? You know, I, I'm quick to say, especially on my blog channel, don't put up with a man that treats you good. You could do bad all by yourself. But what the hell was I doing? I wasn't practicing what I was preaching. And it's like, God, Ann, what was wrong with you? Like, what, what, what happened? And yes, you could talk on the phone to your friends and stuff, but it's not the same having somebody in real life. Let me give you an example of how life was. I was very excited. I remember my first collab I did with Rasha B Cosmetics and we did an eyeshadow palette. And I remember I sold out in two days. Oh, I was so excited. Not, it wasn't for the money thing. Yes, I could use the money because now you guys know my husband wasn't helping and stuff. So yes, it helped. But I was, it was just fun. And, and it was so, I don't know, just to see all the support because I thought for so many years I was so negative and just to know you guys stood by me and stuff. It was so emotional for me, right? And I was so excited and I wanted to uh, ship it in a certain way because hello, I've been doing beauty boxes. I know how to ship things. I've done a lot of giveaways and mailed a lot of packages, but he wanted me to have a box and it was right by Christmas time, put it in a box, do all this. I'm like, I said to him, to my ex-husband, I'm like, no, it would cost too much because they pay for shipping. And then what would happen is because you got to remember, I wasn't getting all that money because, you know, it, it, it's a collab. So what I was getting out of it, then if I had to add to shipping, I, I would be in the negative because I barely made anything. But you know what I'm saying? It, it, no, I was like, I couldn't. 
well, he went and got all this stuff. I'm like, no, I don't want to do it like that. And then I'm like, he didn't help me with the website. He wasn't helping me with packing things. Why? Because I didn't do it the way he wanted. And I'm like, nobody got anything broken. So the way that I'm doing it is working because I have that restock. And he literally threw up in my face all the time. Well, you need to do it like this. Do it the right way. And I'm like, what are you talking about? So I couldn't even enjoy that. Everything was like he was jealous. I, I've never, he, he was never like, congratulations. But I was still willing to stay with him. What was it? Maybe to say I'm married or to have somebody around? I don't know. But when it came down to him and my son having that argument and stuff and him, whatever, he, you know, I don't want to get into it. I was like, no, my kids will always come first. I've learned for me, if people don't want to be in your life, you got to let them go. And for me, that's hard to do. It's especially when I care about somebody, it's very hard to do. I tried, I want, I stayed in my marriage one. I loved them. I don't know why. I don't know, but I did. I wanted my marriage to work. Health insurance. Let's keep it real. <laughs> you know, but it was a lot of things. And I was putting up with a lot of stuff, you know, and it, just to keep them around? No. Now this time around, I could have fought for my marriage, but I'm like, no, I don't, no, I'm not. I'm not fighting for my marriage, you know? Um, I'm not gonna ever again fight for people that don't wanna be in my life. Yes, I'll try, but I, I, I just will never go that low again and beg people to be in my life, you know? And even, does it hurt? Yes, it hurts. But sometimes things happen for a reason, you know? And like with my husband, I don't know. I don't want to make this video like um, a negative video because that's not what it's about. It's more of what I was going through. And protect your peace. Don't do what I did. You know my saying, do as I say, not as I do. If you are suffering from depression, speak out hell if you don't have anybody to talk to or want to go to a doctor or whatever pick up the camera and talk don't do what I did and just sit in the room and cry because guess what life goes on the sun still goes down still comes back up the day moves on nothing stops because you're not feeling good and you're depressed do you know what I mean don't let YouTube and YouTube drama get you down and not want to film that's a them thing and I had to learn when people stop talking about you, that's when you need to worry. As long as people are talking about you, then you're doing something right. It's when people aren't talking about you. And I say that all the time, but I, again, I had to practice what I preach, right? I gotta start walking again. I even thought about giving up this channel because I'm like, nobody's watching it. <laughs> this channel's dead. Again, why? Because I'm not filming. And beauty boxes are out of it. You know, I, I get that. So I'm asking you guys, what do you guys want to see on here? Yes, I'll still do my boxy charm and I'll still do a few videos, my beauty boxes, because I do like the beauty boxes, you know? But I want to also change it up. You know, I have a vlog channel, but what, what do you guys want to see on this channel? You know, um, and be honest with me. Would you rather have more vlog style videos on this channel? Um, maybe live streams, you know, we could play games and different things like I do on my vlog channel. Like what more, what would you want to say? So I don't even know where I'm getting up with this video. <laughs> Just protect your peace. Work on your mental health. Mental Health Awareness Month. I, like I said, I say this all the time. I think it needs to be talked about more than just May. Instead of just using the, well, May, let's talk about it. You know, like I said, that's why I started my vlog channel. So I could talk about things that I'm going through. Some people think I share too much personal information, but hey, I don't think I share enough because so many people are going through what I'm going through. So many people suffer from mental illness. Illness. Some people are suffering from mental illness that's not diagnosed or not medicated or that are going through a divorce or just lonely or what have you or dealing with loss and grief. So many people. Health issues, all of that. And I, I, I just don't think I share enough. You know, I don't think people share enough.
I always say, like, you know, we can look at some people and say, oh my God, they have it all. They film all the time. They're getting all this PR. They seem happy. That doesn't mean that's how it is. And that's why on my vlog channel, I share as much as I do. Because so many people, when I was, especially when I was getting a lot of beauty boxes, you know, they were like, oh my God, you got such a good life. Your life is perfect, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, no, I only show you what I want to show you. I was a good actress. <laughs> and a lot of people are. You know what I mean? So don't compare yourself to other people because you have no idea what they're going through in their lives, right? Take it from me. Look at me. I was acting like everything's okay and I'm sitting there crying on my bed t uh, 21 hours of the day because I slept for two and I filmed maybe an hour, <laughs> you know? Contemplating why I'm still on this earth. It, it, it's crazy, crazy. Anywho, <laughs> that's why, like I said, I just haven't been filming um, like I used to. Um, I kind of stayed away from a lot of beauty boxes. I was getting overwhelmed with stuff. You can even see, like, I, I haven't even, I don't even wear makeup like I used to, you know? But it's like, before I felt like I had to do a full face of makeup before I could even film. So then I wouldn't film because I didn't feel like putting makeup on. And then I'm like, well, I'd rather come on looking half decent. <laughs> without a full face of makeup because you guys don't care if I have a full face of makeup. It's all a head thing, you know? Um, and at least put some kind of content out, you know? And then I got to the point where I just didn't even want to film. So let us know down below. You can help me out, people in the comments. What do you do when you guys are struggling? Um, when, when you're dealing with depression, what do you do? Do you walk? What, what do you do? How about with anxiety? All of that stuff. But I, I want to thank you guys if you made it this far. I appreciate you guys and thank you for listening and I know I could be all over the place I, I know that all right guys I'm gonna get off of here and um, I want to try to get this video up um, I want to go live I'm gonna start doing some type of live streams too and you know playing games and I like I said I do that on the vlog channel but check out my vlog channel see if that's something that you'd be interested in you know, you want to go shopping and all that kind of stuff with me. And, uh, yeah, don't forget to let me know down below what other things besides unboxings do you want to say. I'm still going to keep my mystery boxes. You guys know. I love me a good mystery box, but. Oh, God, they cracked me up. They pay me no mind, just like Nala. Don't pay me no mind. Engagement really helps. If you guys can thumbs up this video, even if he thumbs it down, I got to get this back in the algorithm. Um, share my videos if you like the videos. Leave a comment, even if it's just an emoji, that really helps me out. And that means the absolute world to me. Thank you guys. I don't know how I got so lucky to have y'all, and I mean that. All right, I'm going to get off of here, guys. Don't forget, like the video. It really does help me out. Leave a comment. And, um... I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.